And we're back! They're dead! Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. I hate you for being mean. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. Ow! Wow. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. A little? Did you see that? Your bandage. Did you freaking see that? Her finger was gushing. They're like, freaking waterfall of bloodfall. Obviously, we'll just go to the first aid box, which happened to be over here. Which I handy dandily saw. Uh. A? I don't know. What the? F no, you stupid! That one. Let's have a look at that finger. There you go. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Doctor, I think we'll have to amputate it. Where's the cleaver? You've got a nice little cut on the underside here. That's where it hurts the most. We need a bandage for that, I think. Getting an infection might be a big deal now. What do you mean? Just might be tough to get a doctor for a little while. We need to keep you in tip-top shape. Yeah, because she's really going to contribute to us surviving. I don't think I understand your logic, Lee. Let's get this cut covered up. We'll yes, please. Put the bandit on. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Oh, well. We'll find him. Uh, track us down. Or don't worry. Other way around. Yeah. Okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Wait a minute. How do walkie-talkie work if we have both of them? But we do have both of them, right? It's the remote to my dad's TV. I know she's got one. I don't know where the second remote is. I think Lee's got it. Or maybe she's got both of them. Dad told me he bought that TV to watch baseball in here. But I caught him watching his stories more than a few times. Really? So? That's what I figured. Curses. I wanted to watch Cartoon Network, man! That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Alright, let's go in then. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Uh, I should've known. It'd be too easy. Alright, let's... Let's go find the keys. Whoa. This bucket is impenetrable. It's kind of cool. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Sure. Yeah! No. I hit the wrong button! Oh. Was he bad? He was. Dang it! Okay. So now we're back here. Uh. How many batteries do I have? Can I check my inventory? No. Nope, that just paused this game. Curses. 
Oh wait, I got one battery, a couple of uh, candy bars or something. I think the the family picture and that last thing. Hey there, uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Okay, that's what happened to the other radio. Or the radio, the other walkie-talkie. Glenn had it. And he left for some reason. Uh, if it hadn't been two weeks plus since I've played this game, I'd probably know why he left. Oh, battery! We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. Shut up! You are damnedest. All right, let's go fix this radio. Screw Glenn. I have a radio that needs to fix. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Woohoo! It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Oh my god. If I have to hit the freaking power button to turn this stupid thing, I'm gonna. I'm gonna kill her. Or did he even put the batteries in? What the f Really? 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 Sorry about that everyone, but really? How stupid can you be? Oh I have a radio. I can't figure out why it doesn't work. There are no batteries, you fool. I've got some batteries now. I still can't get the radio to work. Because you put the freaking... How do you put batteries in wrong? Really? You can't be that stupid. Oh, my God. As the unknown you fixed it. Continues to spread unchecked, the estimated death toll freaking continues idiot. to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, uh, oh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved ones... God bless you all. Okay. Hey, Carly. That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. No, it didn't. Are you okay? I'm fine. You don't have to be hardcore. You're That's my to... job. It's dramatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. They're probably not. They're, they're dead. Hey there. Let's do this. You ready to head out? You got it. You? 